good kitten internet. Actually, the kitten is right here for me. Uh, but good kitten internet. This is picking up right back up where we left before. So we just finished Mount Zeon, where Berserk just destroyed the statue directly in front of us, as per RPG tradition. And we were told to go talk to the chief. I can feel that the seal has been broken. The demons are one step ahead of us. Do not be alarmed. There are two other seals which have not been broken. I mean, this is an RPG. They're going to inevitably bro be broken. The other two statues are located at St. Centaur and Port Timney. We save just one of those. We can prevent the queen from reviving. Only your brave party can accomplish this mission. You must use the Elu pyramids, for they are the link to the guardians. Remember those pyramids that we saw before? Yeah. You can usually find the pyramids in the same area the statues are kept. It's said that all life can become energy and be transported to faraway places through the use of Elu technology. Warriors of the Guardians, please take this gift, the Kism Fire of Baskar. You can use this to light the furnace in the pyramid. For the good of all life on Filgaia, please protect the remaining statues. So, thinking about this as an adult, I think I know what the Kism Fire actually is, which makes it very interesting that the Baskar are the ones that hold on to it. I'm pretty sure the Kism Fire is a nuclear reactor. And not just like a fantasy version of the nuke. I mean an actual nuclear reactor. Because take a look at the Yellow Pyramid and you'll understand really fast why I say that. Offer the Kism Fire to the furnace hidden below the hidden in the waterfall. That water flow. Life shall dance in the sky and connect the lands. I really like the Yellow Pyramids. And we're about to hit the new theme that we have not heard music-wise yet. Control panel for an ancient mechanism. Yep. It kind of looks like a reactor to me. The Elu Pyramid is filling with strange energy. This is the Elu Pyramid theme, by the way. And there's nothing on the side, unfortunately. So, I wonder if I can trigger this now. I don't think I can. So, there's a sort of secret that has to do with um, doing damage nearby the entranceway to the Elu Pyramid. So this is what this looks like. You get turned into light and get beamed up into the sky. Bouncing off of a satellite and landing. Yes, satellite. If you do enough damage to the pyramid area around it, you actually get stuck in the satellite. Which is something that you want to do for secret stuff. Oh, still dark. This land contains the holy statue, which seals the evil heart. I think is this Saint Centaur? So we have teleported a great distance. Oh, I forgot to show you what the uh, hard guard. I believe that's for Jack. Yep, more defense for Jack is always handy. Um. Forget to show you where we were for um, what we call it, uh, Baskar, but I can show on the map when we get there. So we're now way up north. Baskar is way down to the south for reference. So we just teleported halfway across the planet. Great. And there's a random person standing here. I can't re remember the last few days. I've been just wandering. That's a little weird, don't you think? All right. This is a large area, by the way. All right, we've got a sign over here. Warning, danger, cage tower to the east. Elu ruins southeast. The enemies here, if I remember right, are actually very strong. Hellhounds. They have a fire attack, I remember that much. 
And well, we're not that far out of a town, so I'm just going to go hug wild. Pew, pew, pew. Flame tongue. Oop. Keep in mind, that's on Cecilia who has the highest magic defense in the party. So their magic attack's actually pretty strong right now. And they're dead. And as you can tell, I still have kitty cam. See, another Elu pyramid. If I remember right, this is the one that connects back up to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, oh, nope. I need the hook shot to continue over that way. Where does this one bring me anyway? I think this is the one that brings me back over to, um, uh, the rich people place. Can't remember the name of it now. It's been a long day. I've done a lot of wild arms this weekend. And not a whole bunch of anything else. Hmm. Speaking of, what's today's flavor of the day? Right. This land contains the lightning statue, which seals the evil heart. Apparently everything seals the evil heart. More hookshot goodness. So yeah, um, we're a little more open than we were before. We can actually continue a lot of places. Now we're way over to the east. That is the renamer, if I remember correctly. That's actually how you can rename people. Beyond the Elu Pyramid is a path blocked to a uh, path to the enchanted world blocked by a magical door. So I think we can't continue on the pyramids because we need a duplicator, I wanna say. Anyway, I was checking the flavor of the day. Important stuff and all that. Well, definitely nothing we can go there. And duplicator required. Okay. Also, today's flavor of the day is chocolate chocolate marshmallow. Eh. Not one of my favorites. Okay. Danger, do not enter the desert. You will be eaten alive. This is Port Timney. Which has the same music as Milma Town? Yeah. Oh, I'm full up on ammo. Timney, a town of sailors and merchants. And this is a cheap one, it's only 30 gala a night. They start getting very expensive, and well, sometimes I just don't wanna. There's the church. Lots of sailors. Ever since the captain found that stone statue, our luck has run dry. I actually wonder if you can go in a different order. I'm betting you can't because this game's fairly linear, but I've never just tried doing what I just did, basically. Hey, I'm an armsmeister. You want me to see what I can do with your arms? I'm not going to upgrade Rudy's arm right now. Weapon shop. I probably should have just saved my money and not bought any new weapons before... I... Uh, I can buy two defensive items. But not any... No, yeah, any two. I think that's probably a better plan, actually. I'm still lay poor, unfortunately. Oh, maybe this episode is going to end up turning into a grind fest. You're the regular item shop. You're still selling Healberry level. Okay, that's good to know. Crest. Magic. We are going to get warp. Bing bing! Oh, I still have two more crest graphs. 
Um, we're gonna do Blast. That's our last of the um, attack spells. So now we have all of them that are available. Actually, I am going to pick up increasing encounter rate, because if I'm going to do grinding, that's going to be helpful. We need to reorder this a little bit. That should work. It's ruined in the forest south of Timney. It's an Elu pyramid, thank you very much. You need a ship to get around the inner sea area. I want one so bad! Captain Bart is a nice man, in spite of his strange antics. Can you help him out? He seems a little depressed. Verbal feud between the captain and Drake has gone too far this time. The captain told Drake that he was going to use the crystal bud to propose to his beautiful girlfriend. Now he has to get the crystal bud. I don't know if he's going to be able to get his hands on that. I think we actually sequence broke. I can't believe this mess I've gotten myself into. If I don't stop drinking, it's going to get to the better of me. So, Captain Bart's an interesting character in that they made him much nicer in the US version than the Maze of Death. Here, there's many monsters in that place. How am I going to get find the entrance in the desert in the west and retrieve the Crystal Bud? Drake's going to have a field day when he finds out. Ever since I found that Guardian statue, weird things have been happening. Statue this drunken fool is talking about. Could it be? Statue's here, I know it. We must get this crystal bud, then we may get a chance. I think I'm actually sequence breaking. Pride forces me to get the crystal bud. Made Drake believe I was getting married and that I would, you know. Yeah. Um. There's a quote later on, and you'll understand. And, and when I explain the quote, everything will make sense as to what I say. They made him much nicer in the US release. Nothing, okay. That was a little girl. The ruin in the desert wasn't called the Maze of Death. In those days, dream chasers were went there in search of the crystal bud. But it wasn't always made of death. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha I'm rich. I party every day. Ha ha ha. Can't figure it out. Captain Bart doesn't have a normal sense of love. Last time we, you know... Town of Saint Centaur, there's a magic key called the Duplicator. Oh yeah, there's one here too. Yeah, you need to complete both here and Saint Centaur in order to be able to continue. What happened? I thought I was going to die in there. Ouch! What? What a drag! What are you doing? Aren't you a little old to be playing hide-and-seek? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, uh, I was being, uh, reprimanded. Well, thanks for the help. I should help you out in some way. One moment. I wonder what he did. You're a pickpocket! We won't take dirty money. How PC. Who cares of how I earn my money? Money is money. Fine, I'll go return it. You'll regret it, though. Don't look at me like that. I only steal from the rich. I'm usually pretty dumb. Just distract them a little and they're defenseless. Even novices can learn to pick a pocket. Just distract the target. Thus concludes my lesson on how to pick a pocket. Bye! Strange guy. This is trade, I suppose. A hand pin. Let's give it a try. Are we reducing ourselves to stealing now? No! You're going to take a look inside the monster's pockets while I fight them. I have to go inside their pockets, though. Who knows what they keep in there? It's kind of ew. If it works, we'll be like treasure hunters. You are. You already are. Ching! Yep. Jack's the one that gets to learn how to steal. 
and it's a fast draw technique. Problem being that that means that it costs MP, and that's annoying. My ears are starting to hurt a bit. Timney Harbor just ahead. The merchants of the inner sea, blah, 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 yeah. This is Timney Harbor. Many ships of the inner sea dock here. I wonder if I item duplicated duplicator here, can I actually just really start skipping things? I may do that. Because there's no way I'm going to skip this set, because this sequence is hilarious. Ship of the Captain Bart. Fine vessel is called the Sweet Candy. Yeah, there's something up with the name. Also, he's smart, but really short. Okay. Hey, you guys. Got permission to board? No. There's the statue, by the way. I'm the helmsman for the sweet candy. Good for you. Darn it, move out of my way. Problem with wearing earphones for too long is that my ears start hurting from squishing up against my glasses. But yeah, this is the town of Port Timney. In the desert to the west is the maze of death. Unsettled souls roam the ruin. Crash graph. Just sitting there. Man, I could really use radar ability right now. I don't remember where I get that at. I know I don't have a choice in getting it, so I'm not too concerned about missing it. Well, let's get Valkyrie. This is Valkyrie, right? So Valkyrie is a very expensive spell, but it's the first spell that you get in the game that can affect all enemies. The problem is that it hits random targets, so it's not the greatest. I mean, could be worse. Could also be better. Hardy Apple. Oh yeah, how's my Apple situation going? I have a lot of Hardy Apples. I really need to actually use them. And, yeah, I can use healing. Let's go ahead and sleep. I've been doing this for 18 minutes. I'm really curious if you can sequence break. All I need is one duplicator, and then I can use the item duplication glitch. I'd have 254 duplicators, and then I can just skip St. Centaur. Which would be weird. Alright. So, what we're trying to do... You notice how it's zooming in randomly? You, the location that it zooms in at is random. That is, I don't know necessarily where it's at. So, you have to just wander around until you find it, basically. This is a very powerful area, which means um, I'm probably going to have some issues fighting for a bit. So this is probably where I would end up grinding. Oh, Rachel's. Which is Rachel instead of Rachel, but that's okay. Um, this area might actually be one that I might want to go back and learn holy. I seem to remember that they're weak against holy. Although I'm doing enough damage. Kind of surprised, given that I haven't upgraded weapons. Hmm. Yeah, things in here add confusion a lot, if I remember correctly, which sucks. One of each type apple? Yep. Okay, well, let's use the power apple for sure. And use the mystic apple for sure.
You know what? Let's go ahead and use the hearty apples on Cecilia. And the agile apples on, actually, Cecilia. I didn't mean to use all of those. Oh, well. I'll probably get another one soon enough. I usually like keeping one of each so I can item duplicate for the... Oh, I don't need to item duplicate anymore now that I know how to edit game saves. Preemptive Strike. Sweet. Um, the item duplication specifically for testing out weird things. So it's the Let's to Analyze series rather than the Let's Play series. Oh, you are still a very cute beauty. I get to know that. You're one of my favorites. These aren't giving that much XP, I guess. So, convenient save point, which is nice. Because that means I can save whenever I want as I'm going through here. I'm doing the right side first, if you couldn't tell. Uh, okay, hand pin could go across there, but there was no reason to. Um, is this just a chest up here? Oh, this is actual doorway, okay. Gemstone! Oh, we need to practice this. I meant to do that before and just forgot. And I haven't analyzed any of this yet. Gemstones, I think, have super high defense. Not that it matters when you crit them. They sound like a blast. Let's figure out what they are. They're fast, that's for one. They hit really hard, good to know. Question marks. There we go. See, you get to see Henpan in action! And I stole a bandana. Alright, so they have bandanas, good to know. Weakness is holy, yeah. I thought everything in here has a weakness to holy. The problem is that casting holy weapon is not worth it. I don't think I need a bandana, actually. So I'm pretty sure that was Rudy's first headgear. Jack leveled up, that's fine. Oh, wow. Cecilia's luck is bad. So there's Jack's stats. Cool, cool. Yeah. Bandana's kind of useless. Might as well improve luck a bit. And let's go ahead and use a power apple, shall we? Oh, wow. Rudy and Jack have the same attack power right now. Neat. Oh, Jack's gonna have one higher. Oops. Did not mean to actually walk over that. Oh well. Minions! Roll out! So, Trickster costs 5 MP. Trickster is another one that's a good candidate for dropping the cost by as much as possible, so you can keep using it. Trickster! Couldn't steal. Minion, 114 hit points, weak to holy. Oh, they paralyze. 
guys. You bastards. You can also hit like a Mack truck. Ooh. One moment. Sorry, dizziness wave. I could have. No, I couldn't have. This is what Valkyrie looks like. But it hits with random elements also. But look how much damage it does. It's by far my most powerful spell if nobody's immune to an element. Alright. Can't solve, which I should have bought some more. Clear Chime. That's the one that stops forgetfulness, I want to say. Yeah, this dungeon's very, um... What's the correct term? Nonlinear? You can do any part of this dungeon in whatever order that you want, which is nice. Oh, ghosties. They're whites. What do whites have? I think they have like 1400 hit points or something like that. Is that the higher level one? They have long swords. That's Rudy's first weapon. White. Level 18, 300 hit points. Weak to holy. <sighs> Once more, it's not worth casting holy weapon. I'm killing them in two hits. Or one crit, even. Or one hit. Okay, this is where we need to eventually go. So the statues that we've been sliding have been moving these back and forth. So I accidentally went to where we were supposed to be. Well, drat. Paralysis! Damn you! not feeling so great all of a sudden. Okay. Clear chime is confusion. Blue circulate is the one that I want to use. And you're going to get punched in the face. Maybe. Oh, you just paralyzed the same person. That's fine. Oh, AIs. Now you can accelerate and punch it in the face. Problem solved. And they are worth 300 XP each. I mean, that... Or 150 XP each. That battle was the same as... Yep. I need three more statues. Um, That battle was the same as the boss battle that we recently fought right before this. I'm doing okay on hit points right now. I'll wait to see if I can pull off a Mystic Heelberry. Problem is that combats are not lasting very long because I don't want them to last very long. I tricks or you. I analyze you. I punch you. Tricks or you? As nothing. Okay. Yeah, you see, it only did 50 damage. They have really high defense, which makes sense. They're gemstones. They're level 6. They're weak against holy. And they cast spells on each other. Oh, boy. I need to use magic on this. 
Although crits help. So this is why I'm thinking crits might actually drop defense to zero or something. Or maybe half defense? I don't have holy, but what I do have is Valkyrie. I also have a gun. <laughs> Shield. Everybody's shielded. Which means this is going to do next to nothing in damage. Yep. They're dead. I'm not. Unfortunately, Valkyrie is a very expensive spell. I don't want to cast that every combat. Oh, actually. Speaking of things. I can just go back to the entrance this way. That's much more efficient. Go down here. Enter. Exit. I'm going to save again. Save early, save often, because this game is buggy right now. Whereas the regular game isn't bu this buggy. I mean, we are leveling up at least. The question is, do I want to go back to Port Timney and heal? Nah. I may want to grind, though. I don't have the correct equipment to go through here. Not that I'm missing something, it's more... There's specific types of equipment that make this area better than others. Never mind. This is easy. Um, so, there's a tool later on for Rudy called the Skate. And the skate allows you to just go in a straight line very quickly. It's kind of like running, except you don't actually count as touching the ground. So you don't get hit by all of those squishy ground monsters. I mean, acid. Yeah. Preemptive strike, okay. I didn't actually pickpocket these guys. I'm gonna Valkyrie. And I'm going to attack. Couldn't steal. Notice it doesn't say has nothing, it's just couldn't steal. See what I mean by the damage is very random? Valkyrie actually works better on a single enemy than it does on a large group. But, it's not terrible at a large group either. You dead yet? Yeah, you are. Good. Don't want to be paralyzed. At least that almost sounds like a scream. Yep, that's fine. I'm not going to touch that yet because loot. Hillberry. Magic carrot. I don't remember where this lets me off at. I guess I'll find out. It's probably not where I want to be, thinking about it. Yep, I've already been here. I know where I'm at. Uh, it's going to be easier for me to walk back than use warp. Alright. Trickster. Analyze. Uh, their ability is called I Hate You. Which is hilarious. They're also very squishy, so I'm not too concerned. But I think I Hate You does massive amounts of damage. Trixor. And Steel. I'm not using their ability, so I'm not too concerned. 
How squishy are you exactly? Level 8, 200 hit points, weak against holy, like everything else in this dungeon. Oh, I wish I actually had a way of doing holy damage beyond the stupid enchantment spell. I mean, the enchantment spell is fine if Cecilia went first. The fact that Jack goes first, then Cecilia, means that the only person I can enchant is Rudy. Which, while not terrible, uh, I think the enchantment spell is somewhat expensive. And yes, I'm going to save again. Save early, save often. You know, while I'm sitting back, I probably could zoom my camera in a little bit more. Anyway, I went down before. I'm going up. This no, I'm still going down. That's right. I haven't finished going down. Because I jumped off. Like a fool. Trickster. Counterattack. You're dead. Am I even going to go? Okay, yes. Trickster. Pinwheel. Okay. Don't care. I should probably also have a guide for what I can steal from what. That way I'm not wasting a bunch of magic trying to steal things. Because I don't remember. I mean, I remember the endgame stuff that, yes, you absolutely want to steal from Zarzines. Because they have... Is it apples? Yeah, I think it's apples. Or the secret enemies that have duplicators. Those absolutely you want to steal from... Uh, that's a lot of Rachels. Well, let's fix that problem. And then just punch that one in the face when you're done. Deathed. Ooh, even slight bit of slowdown. Nice. Gem to the face. And then you're getting Valkyried. I'm just going to hit you with each of the elements. And do plenty of damage to a gem. Yeah, you actually do deserve that, Boogie, Cecilia. It's all good. I haven't gone down yet. Crestcraft. Sweet. These enemies are actually not that bad, other than the random paralysis. And yeah, they hit hard, but they're also squishy. I mean, Cecilia plus Jack can take one out. That's pretty easy to deal with. And damage I can deal with. I can buy heal berries. And they're dead. So you leveled up. Level up, boogie. Sorry for disturbing you, Tom. Posterity purposes. So these new stats. Okay, cool. I already hit the button, so I'm going to go down here. Probably heal soon now that I think about it. I still haven't shown you blast, but that's fine, I don't need to. You know what? Cecilia? Nah, I'll just cast the heal spell. Rudy. I don't want to spend money. I'm cheap. Then I'm having a I am the poor problem in this game right now. I don't remember ever having. 
I'm wondering if it's just that I'm not doing as many fights because I actually know where I'm going. Oh, right, you cast Spark. That was the reason why I don't like you. Luckily, I have a decent amount of magic resistance. dead, aren't you? Yeah. Wow, Cecilia is doing over 100 damage. That's a really bad sign for their defense. And you're dead. Right. This is where we're going to have to jump off. We actually have to in this case. That's the way back. I need to go to the upper right if I remember correctly. I think the way through is open at this point. Oh! No, there's something I need to do. I remember now. There's one way I haven't gone yet. Yeah. Rudy leveled up. Rudy's pretty awesome. I understand your dance, Cecilia. Alright, there's Rudy's new stats. Dang, he has a lot of attack power. Speaking of Cecilia, we're going to cast Escape and warp back to the entrance again. We're going to go up. Or did we already go this way? We're good. You're dead. I mean, outside of their I hate you attack, they don't really do much damage. So I'm not too concerned about Rachel's. It was just four of them that I went, mm, yeah, I should probably AoE attack. And unfortunately, I skipped where I would be gaining a new AoE attack. This is the one that I need to hit. Can I get down from here? No. You'll inevitably crit. Or you actually do enough damage where that's less of a problem now. <laughs> Cecilia critting did more damage than Jack. Yeah. Crit definitely drops their defense. There's no other explanation. I'm wondering if the crit is actually... It halves their defense, but because their defense is halved, other things happen. Is there a crack in that back wall? I don't see one, but... Um, it halves their defense, and because it halves their defense, the damage formula changes. That's my best guess. It also explains why certain enemies critting doesn't seem to do much of anything. I've leveled up a decent amount, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Everybody's leveled up twice, other than Jack. Alright, now let's go back through here. I still can't remember how I'm supposed to get through this section. Looks like I can come from underground, maybe. Although, thinking about it, I might want to go back and heal. Now would not be a terrible time to do it, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that after this battle. And cast escape, leave, go back to Port Timney, heal, then come back. And I also have a decent amount of money now. So I can actually buy better equipment. Yeah, let's do that. That was kind of like a grind fest. 
Maybe I'll do an actual grind fest in not that long. So when I escape out, you won't notice it zoomed, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's actually consistent for the Maze of Death, and it was a different one that's not consistent. I don't remember now. I thought Maze of Death was the one that was in a random spot. Right, and use some small flowers for luck. Told you, those small flowers are going to la not last me the entire game. There's no way that's going to last me the entire game. I also have a crest graph I need to use. Alright. I should buy the cloak and one of those weapons. How big are the weapon difference? 14, 17, and 17. So first cloak, because yes, I'm taking too much damage. Um, Jack's weapon is the most important because he goes first. I have 89 Gela. Good thing that it doesn't cost me any money to deal with crest graphs. How are these magic guilds supposed to survive if they don't receive any money for what they do? Just curious. Fine, I'll actually learn holy. Or oh, sorry, light blow. Holy is the level 2 version of this. got to actually save i should save this game crashes randomly i do not want to deal with not saving uh... yeah i haven't progressed plot i can save over maze of death that's fine all right let's go back to the maze of death not very death-like now, is it? I mean, there's a lot of undead things in it. I guess that counts. Yeah, it's actually a consistent area. It must be a different spot that I'm thinking of that moves around. My intent is to complete this dungeon, save, then do a grind fest afterward. Already got that, it's down below. Can't remember the exact maze. Preemptive strike, okay. I think Jack is now strong enough to take on a scraper by himself. Yes, I was correct. Okay, good. I'm not sure why Rudy is gaining force faster than the others. That doesn't make much sense to me. They all did the same action, although I guess Rudy critted. So. Dealing a critical hit gives you more force? Ah. The stairs disappeared. I now have to hit the button again because of the battle? That doesn't make much sense. And Pan, can you hit the button for me? No. Guess you're not heavy enough to hit the button. Okay. Why did the random battle cause the stairs to disappear? I think that might be a glitch. I mean, you're obviously going to get into a random battle. Son, Kitty, are you going to go back to your spot? The internet was watching. Did I? Yeah.
You're a good kid, so. Don't worry. And stairs didn't disappear that time. I don't get it. So I can point the camera back at you again if you stayed still. Just saying. Alright, I should be able to walk through here now. Yep. And you're still getting kitty action, so I'm not too concerned about the camera pointing at nothing. Alright, whites. I think I was unable to steal from you, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, forget it. Okay, light blue- oh wow, Cecilia's up to 100 MP already. Uh, light blow costs 2 MP, so it is relatively efficient, but... Yep, Jack and one shot him. Mm -hmm. Rudy's light power surged! And they're just gonna paralyze Rudy, aren't they? Yep. Do you see why light blow is a terrible, terrible thing now? Ugh. Done, Kenny. I told you, if you stayed still, you'll be able to be on the internet some more. I should have bought more healing solves. Oh, wait, I had next to no money. Um, really can't. With a flower, a crystalline mist covers it. Crystal bud acquired. The whole temple is shaking, it's starting to crumble. Oh, wait, this is a load bearing temple? Crap, I didn't figure out how to get into the middle stuff yet. Ah, uh, poop. Um, uh, Zone, please stop. Just, please stop. Uh, I forgot that this was a load-bearing temple. Hold on a moment, let me look this up. There's a map available. That will help. That's not the type of map that I was looking for. And those are other Wild Arms games. So, uh, Maze of Death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to find an item list as to what's actually in the Maze of Death. Ah, okay. It is possible to face an optional boss. Which I'm going to do. Push that forward. I seem to remember how to do this now. This is one of the bosses I never found in the first time I played through the game. Yep, now it's cracked open and doesn't have a save point. That's what I was missing. Luckily, ba random battles do not count for time. Unfortunately, that means I can't grind in here after all. Tone. He's literally sitting directly in front of the camera. Sunkini, you are adorable and weird. I probably shouldn't have had Rudy attack the same one now that I think about it. Oh well. Oh, actually it's fine because Jack's attack is that high now. <laughs> and Rudy attacks, which does lots of damage now that they're weak against him. But... Again, I could have just had the two of them attack and probably killed the gem. Well, I just finished them all off. Maybe there is something to be said about how it did this. It's just, I I don't find those spells really worth the crest graph in my mind. I don't think this is actually possible to do without... Oh, darn it. 
um, without what we call it, the escape spell. Two crest graphs. Boss is down here, I believe. Uh, let me guess. I need to go down. Nope. Okay. All right, boss time. I am horribly underleveled for this. Chaos. Can I steal from Chaos? You know, before I do... Oh, it's on. Here, now you have two cameras on me. How am I going to set this up? Like that, I guess. As you move immediately. Cat. Can't you sit still? Ever? Ever. Guess that'll do. I'm going to quickly look up the boss to see what it drops. Do 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 do. Optional boss. Drops nothing. What can you steal from it? That's what I'm trying to find out. All I care about is what you can steal from it. Start with a meteor dive. Cecilia is actually going to use a lucky card because this is an optional boss. There's no way this isn't going to be worth a lot of XP. And Rudy's going to punch it in the face. I didn't even see how much damage that did. Oh, it's Skella and XP. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't have anti sleep. Ah, poop. I didn't think about bringing anti-sleep. Well, this may be a reload. Yep. This is probably going to be a reload. I have nothing to remove sleep. It's a spell, for reference. Um, meteor dive? I need Cecilia awake is the problem. Silence. Great, you hit everybody with these. And everybody silenced. Even better. You know what, I might as well remove the silence on Cecilia now. I'm not going to bother removing it a second time. So, fun fact about Wild Arms. If you reach condition green, all status effects are removed. Purple Electric is probably going to kill whoever it hits. Oh no, luckily it hit. Um, no, I actually want it to hit condition green. Gamma Ray, just gonna kill Jack. Uh, nope, it's gonna kill Cecilia, damn it. All right, revive Fruit Cecilia. Rudy's back, I don't care if he's silenced. You can summon Guardian. That's probably gonna be an okay amount of damage. All right, Jack hit condition green, that's good. Unfortunately, Cecilia got knocked unconscious. But, you know, death is another... Uh, they're going to hit Cecilia again. <sighs> the sleep right in the beginning really screwed me up. I'm probably going to have to reload and try again. 
and I'm already at an hour. That did zero. Summon Guardian, revive Fruit Cecilia, this time after their move, not before. And Lagan, do you do any damage? 105, a normal attack is better. And everybody's going to sleep again, aren't they? No, just Rudy. It's just gonna kill Cecilia again, isn't aren't they? I don't have that many revive fruits. I can't buy them yet. Purple electric. Yep, that can kill Cecilia. Just need Cecilia to stay alive. Cecilia is my main damage dealer, dang it. Sleep, okay. Let me guess, everybody's asleep. Yep. All right, so when I reload, I'm going to grab the sleep spell, or the awaken spell. You see, awaken spell is awesome. It's the best status removal spell in the game. Rudy's getting hit again, that's fine. Okay. Jack hit the ignition green and is now getting killed. No, Rudy, uh, Cecilia's getting killed again, of course. <sighs> I'm not even doing damage at this point. You know what? Screw it. Full revive. I'm dead before I get to do it anyway. Who keeps desyncing? Uh, video. Full revive Cecilia. That's okay. Rudy's asleep again and will stay asleep forever. I don't care if Rudy's silenced. I mean, I'm just going to die. Two attacks. And I'm dead this turn. Yep. And game over. Oh boy, that was rough. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna swap out my spells. Um, am I going to, yes, I'm going to continue. This means that this is gonna be a long video, my apologies, but I'm going to finish that boss, dang it. Or maybe I'll grind fest now. I can see answers for both of those, but the very first thing I'm going to do is this. Let's remove curse, because I'm not using it right now. Oh no, that's right. If I was going to grind fest, I do want curse. Derp. I'm going to dissolve. Vortex for now. I have no need for the spell. Awakens down here, isn't it? Yeah. So a fun thing about how Awaken works is that it's an area of effect status removal that's permanent. Which is to say that when you, you only have to cast Awaken once. And from then on, every time that sleep gets inflicted on you, you wake back up. It's great. And you only need it for certain battles in the game. And this is one of them. How am I doing on money? Yeah, I'm poor. So, I am going to grind fest at this point. And um, while I'm going to be recording grind fest, I'm not intending to... I'm going to fast forward it. So, I will talk to you in a bit. Bye, internet.